Hello, everyone. I'm David Muir at ABC News headquarters in New York, where we continue to follow the capture and killing of Osama bin Laden now nearly a week after we learned of his death. I want to bring in Martha Rana to the Pentagon, where today uh, it was released five videos of Osama bin Laden, the part of a treasure trove of material that they gathered from this home. And Martha, you and I were talking just moments ago, historic in nature, the amount of material they were able to gather. It is the single largest collection of material from a senior terrorist ever. As you said, it's historic. It's generational. They've never seen anything like this. There are five videos they released today, and clearly they want to release these videos to prove uh, even further that this was Osama bin Laden. What you're looking at right now is Osama bin Laden. There he is, huddled in a blanket, a wool cap on his head, his beard gray, watching images of himself. You see him actually surfing through different channels. I know Al Jazeera was up, some other channels. They did have a satellite dish on the roof. In this video, Osama bin Laden actually tells the cameraman to move the camera around. But as soon as the video starts, the, vid the videos of Osama bin Laden himself begin, whatever channel he is watching. Uh, they do not know when this video was made, but they do know that clearly he had television, he had a satellite dish, and was very interested in watching himself. I'll tell you another really interesting fact here, David, is we reported very early this week that Osama bin Laden was known to be dyeing his beard. He apparently just dyed his beard to cover the gray for the videos to the American people and to others with threats. That's what you're looking at now. Uh, for the videos. Uh, he is doing his same message to America that he has for so many years. They don't know when most of them were taped, but they do know the first one was between October and November of 2010. So just last year he was making these videos. Again, they don't know when the other ones uh, were uh, ever going to be released or not. So just to talk the viewers through this again, Martha, we're looking at two pieces of video, uh, one right now airing with bin Laden actually looking at himself on television. Extraordinary for a couple of reasons. First of all, we, we have never seen him like this before, exposed in video and captured like this, but also because right there you can see his beard is white, it's gray. And as you point out, Martha, the other video that addressed to the American people, his beard is darkened, as you can see right there. When do we believe this address was taped? Well, the address with the, with the dyed beard, they believe, between October and November 2010. The other four that they released, they do not know when they were made. They don't know when the video, the one we're looking at now with the gray beard, was made. But I can also tell you this. They said today, when he was shot and killed last Sunday, his beard was gray. So clearly very concerned about his image. They also don't know exactly where this video we're watching was made, although all you have to do is think about the fact that they don't believe he had left that compound in five years at least. So I think they suspect this was in the compound somewhere. They don't want to say that absolutely, but I would say evidence points to that. Not lost in anyone who's watching at home that there's no audio attached to these videos, particularly the one where he's addressing the camera directly. Did the Pentagon offer a reason for that? Do they have the audio? They do have the audio. They, they don't want to promote his propaganda, they said, so they killed the audio on this. Uh, they just don't want that message to get out any more of what bin Laden was trying to say, but they said you could pretty much guess the types of things he was trying to say. But again, no, ta no sort of time stamp on it. No idea when the others were made or whether he planned on releasing those every so often as he has in the past. And Martha, there have been so many questions since we first began reporting this story last Sunday night around midnight. Uh, Eastern time about whether or not people actually believe that he was captured and killed. Uh, we haven't seen those images. There were, was debate at the White House all week long about whether those images would be released. We know late in the week the president saying uh, for now they will not be released. They don't want to inflame uh, parts of the Arab world by releasing those images. Is it uh, believed that these images we're seeing right now will help quell some of those questions? I, I think that's exactly right, David, because where else could you find videos like this? Where else could you find images like this if Osama bin Laden was not there? And there's one terrific fact they gave today about the DNA ev evidence. They said there is one in 11.8 quadrillion chances it is false. So they are so absolutely positive the man they killed last Sunday was Osama bin Laden, and they just want to give this evidence to tell more. They also said today the evidence is, is showing without question that Osama bin Laden was not only a strategic leader, but a tactical leader and an operational leader. He was still very, very active in running al-Qaeda, and they are running down 
all the evidence they're gathering. Of course, they want to find out if there was any imminent threat. Uh, I, I think you'll see a lot of action over the next few months looking for other al-Qaeda leaders, looking for other al-Qaeda operatives. This is just incredible. Just the beginning, Martha, as you mentioned. We should wrap up for our viewers at home. Five new videos released today by the Pentagon. Videos of Osama bin Laden captured, uh, confiscated from that home in Pakistan. Uh, one of the videos actually showing Osama bin Laden looking at himself. The other with Osama bin Laden uh, with a direct address to the camera, so similar to those addresses we have seen through the years with his beard dyed. Clearly he was doing that uh, for the purposes of those speeches alone. Uh, Martha will have much more, as will the entire team, on World News later this evening. I hope to see you then, and of course, a thorough reporting on this all day long at abcnews.com. I'm David Muir in New York. Good day.